welcome to this crazy, foggy, rainy, just overall crappy Friday from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Ceiling is less than 500 feet. We are dealing with the remains of Hurricane Nicole moving across the northeast, bringing some much needed rain to the area. Um, kind of low 60s today, definitely cooler than what it has been the last few days, but we've had absolutely gorgeous weather here. Um, but we have a special livery inbound that we're going to hang out and try to affect, try to catch a few airplanes today. 8252, it's the 40th anniversary livery inbound from Las Vegas. We're going to wait for the bus out of the clouds here. I'm debating if I want to stay here, if I want to go over to the garage so I can get out of the rain, or if I want to go to the aviator and get them on the other side, or if I just want to stay here and get them up close. Not really sure yet. They are departing on six rights, so it does kind of make a little bit of a challenge. Thank you all for being here today. Switch sides and came over to the uh, parking garage. United 512 heading to Orlando. I'm here on the terminal heading 270. Green Eagle 4703 heading to New York's. John F. Kennedy International Airport. I do have some issues seeing the lights over at Lakefront, so we might have some more flights coming here. I wish we were on the 2 4 side today. Can we get a little closer on landing? Ceiling is only 300 feet right now. Oh, even in the rain, work must be done. It's like uh, one of our Menzies fuelers over here by this United 737. Getting it loaded up in the back, even in the rain. Got to thank our hardworking friends on the ramp crews, the fuelers and the de-icers. I see all the de-icing equipment is staged now. We are expecting at least light snow next week after three weeks of very unseasonable weather here in northern Ohio. We'll be up here going through the snow again, just like we did last year. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow for the uh, 777 that will be coming in. So looking forward to bringing that to you and possibly a couple special liveries. So keep our fingers crossed. And over here, the uh, Sun Country 40 years of flying livery. Believe it or not, they used to fly DC 10s and things like that back in the day. But they're heading out for the runway now as a American 737. I believe it's American. On the other side, there it is. So we'll get the Sun Country taken off in a minute. I'm not bothering filming arrivals right now just because you really can't see them until they're actually on the ground. Meanwhile, here on the other side, United 737-800 pushing back. I believe this is the former United Star Wars 737. Yes, it is. Flew on that one several times over the last couple of years while still wore the Star Wars livery. And in many videos on this channel dedicated mostly to that airplane. Three American in color should be off the direction now. Join them uh, southeast on Ophelia 4. You can continue after them to 6 right. Good afternoon, 
Delta 1576 uh, heading to Atlanta. Yeah, they're closing Burke for now and diverting flights over here due to the fog. I'm sure it's probably worse coming off the lake. Meanwhile, over here, we got an American 737 arriving to the gate. Want to send a shout out to all of our veterans, past and present. Today is Veterans Day. Thank you for your service, your sacrifice to our country, um, and everything that you did for our country, and this, even this, the service that your family did. God bless America. Southbound traffic, 11 o'clock, 10 miles west, south west, 4,000 additional traffic, uh, 10 o'clock, 15 miles south Some country, it was 82-92 heading to Chicago Midway. The 641 contact tower. Coming out of the fog. The first mission, Yankee, ground service, 2961, wind calm. Beetle. Luckily, not much wind today. Include the tower number two following a... Uh, Learjet, um, four mile final, uh, runway six left, little in, previous arrivals reporting a, a breaking out about 100 feet above that amount. That's 733, turn around. T91, the former Star Wars. 737-800 is heading to Newark. Five zero, Alpha, turn left, heading 140. This, I think, is the JetBlue 8220. Frontier 220 taxiing into its gate. Oh, Alaska uh, 216 is going to be right behind Atlantic, it. Uh, I was hoping to get a breeze A220 when I was in Columbus, but they only flew yeah, in the E190s. Uh, uh, we should be going back down here in a couple of weeks when the uh, Detroit Red Wings come to town to play the Blue Jackets. They have a private MD81, so looking forward to hopefully catching that. Blue Jackets having a rough season. They finally won last night, the first game they won in over two weeks. But they lost three of their top players. So, unfortunately, a pretty rough season for the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, but we'll get down here and get to a couple of games. Frank Sika.
is the uh, name of this A220. This is a gorgeous aircraft. No special liveries on the A220 yet though, so hopefully we see some of those in the future. Alaska 216 just came in from Seattle. The uh, 737-9, Max 9. Looked up uh, on Flight Radar 24, we have two Pilatus PC-12s diverting in. Uh, they were heading to Burke in downtown Cleveland. They're going to come over here. Too foggy over at Burke Lake for right now for them to go in. We'll be here tomorrow. We're expecting the new Frontier Special Livery. We're expecting a 777 coming in tomorrow morning. Possibly one of the new Southwest Special Liveries. Fingers crossed that actually comes in. I think one or two other ones. We were expecting the uh, Star Alliance United 737 today, but they canceled that flight, and I just saw that airplane sitting in the maintenance hangar, so I was having some maintenance issues with that one. But we might see that one tomorrow, too, so fingers crossed. Uh, should be another rainy day, though, unfortunately, so we'll see how well stuff comes out. I just hear heavy. Looks like the ceilings have lightened up a little bit. I can actually see the runway again as United 2056 heads for Chicago O'Hare. Ah, we paid for the whole runway today. Oh, my. Unloading the Alaska that just came in a little bit ago. And we'll head on up United here as right United 486 right heads for Denver. I might have to move down the garage a little bit. With the fog, I haven't really had to worry about the uh, how where the elevator there. is because there's a wall there that it blocks departures. It's staying near my truck, but I might have to move down a little bit. How much runway this guy's got to take up. 5753 to set a maintain uh Oh yeah. Strength 5197, three miles speed old speed old air maintain three thousand twelve seven shallow five speed hours from six left fresh. And a Delta Connection Embraer E175 pushing back. We've got a, a spirit in the background heading over to the runway. Spirit 1378 heading to Tampa. Starting to rain again. And the ceilings are beginning to drop again. Blue A220 pushing back. 4944 Cleveland ground, runway 6 right, taxi via Juliet, Juliet 1 Kilo Lima. Playing with my camera with a low light setting. I don't know if it'll be any better. Lima, 
All right, that'll do it for today from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. It's getting dark. We're going to head on home and get some dinner. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below. And um, we'll be back up here again tomorrow to catch the 777. So looking forward to bringing that to you. Have a great evening, everybody.